how to create an accordion in Webflow. Hi there, today we will be learning how to use Webflow and creating an accordion here on this platform. The accordion features on your website are actually um, the ones you see on FAQs where when you click on the specific question, it will actually drop down or it will have an extension of the definition or the answer to that question. So for us to begin here, what you can do is open your Webflow account and create a blank Webflow workpa work page or workspace rather. And then what you need to do here is just click on the plus icon here on the left side panel of the screen and add a section. Once you have a section added, you need to add a div block that's also located here on the plus icon on the left side panel of the screen. And you need to set up the alignment here where this should be located or this should be situated in the center or you can align it so that it would be on center here on the workspace that we are creating. So we can adjust the margin or we can add a margin here. And then once done, what you will need to do is you need to add a text. So you can add a title or a heading on the dev block that you created. So you can just rename that by double clicking the text and then you can either modify the font or you can rename or use another word from here. So let's say infograph where you can use the glossary for this or you can even do FAQs as well. Once done here, you'll be able to see under the box icon that there's a three rectangles that are aligned horizontally. You'll be able to view that and you'll be able to see how the specific part of your Webflow um, project is situated. So here, what I did is after I added the text, I will add another dev block here just by clicking the plus icon. And with the dev block I created, I will add or click on the navigator and then click on the dev block that I had and then click or add or we will be renaming that here on the right side panel of the screen under style selector. We'll name it accordion cover and then we will select that dev block and then we will add a another div block and we will rename that accordion title so you can rename it depending on what you like but here i'll just have it accordion title for our information and here what i'll do is i'll add a text under the accordion title and go to navigator and then click on accordion cover and then once you click on accordion cover, click on the plus icon again, and then add another div block. So as you can see, this will, this is how it would look like for the ordinary style, but for accordion, you need to delete the paragraph first, and then we will add another div block Click on accordion cover and then click on the plus icon here and then open another dev block and then click on the dev block that you've added and then instead of text you just click on paragraph. So you have another dev block for the title and you have another dev block for you the paragraph. So once you have those two created, what you need to do is click on accordion cover and on the right side panel of the screen, you need to set margins so that your div blocks or is the text within the div block that you created will have spaces within and so it will not look cramped. So from here, well, the next thing that we will do is 
we will need to add a border on the dev block that we created. So click on the plus icon and then from here we need to go to navigator. That's the third option from the left panel and then click on accordion cover. Make sure that it's highlighted and here you will be able to see or look for borders and then you can add the width of the border that we'll create to say 1.5 and then you can even set the color and the style as well. So if you wanted Brooklyn line or X mark, or you can change the color as well. You can even indicate on which part of the um, div block will have borders, uh, whether it's only one side or it only has two sides or three sides of the div block that you want to create. So here, now that we have the div block created, the next thing that we will do is add the icon so as you can see earlier on the video there was an arrow that would be on the accordion title that's on the right side where when you click on it it will open to the accordion paragraph so we'll click on accordion title and we'll add another dev block and we need to situate that on the right side of the accordion so make sure it's aligned on the right side and the title or the text will be on the left side. So here on the layout, you just simply choose the second option and then you need to set the width as well into the specific height. Uh, make sure that you just adjust that depending on how it would look like here so i'll just resize click on the dev block and then resize the height of the dev block that you created make sure it would be visible here you can actually resize that here on the right side panel of the screen and click on size here we will modify the width of the dev block that we created and as you can see it was it's now modified so what we'll do here since the dev block fourth icon is situated on the um, close to the text is that you actually can position that where they are apart from each other so there's a space in between and the next thing that we will do here is click on the plus icon and then we will add an image on the div block that we created so here we can choose an image we can simply drag and drop the icon that we want to incorporate into the div block for the icon that we created so here i have this ro icon you can simply download this onto any browser that you have you can search for icon creator and they will allow you to download these icons that you can use for your website or for your day-to-day -day use so let's say i'll use the second um, icon that i have pointing to the right and then the th thing here that we will do next is that we will need to for the paragraph div block that we created we need to unhide that or hide that by clicking on the layout here on the right side panel and then click on the eye icon and it will automatically hide the paragraph for that specific accordion that we will create now that we hid the um, paragraph for this part of the accordion you need to click on the accordion title and on the right side panel of the screen we need to click on interactions that's a lightning symbol and then under element trigger we need to click on the plus icon and then click on or choose mouse click tap and then here for the on the first click we need to choose an action to start an animation and when we are routed into this page we need to click on the accordion title or the div block 3 the one that we unhid and then click on the plus icon so div block 3 on the navigator we need to have the div block 3 highlighted and then click on the plus icon and here we have the option for under miscellaneous the head and show when we click on that there will be an option that will show below 
here under hide and show or display you need to choose the display or the first option here right beside the word display so when we click on our accordion it will pop up or the paragraph will pop up so for the second action the same process click on the action you choose start an animation choose div 3 on the navigator on the left side panel and then under element trigger it will still be on the same process you just click on the mouse click tap and then on the second click under the animation you need to click on the plus icon here and then choose dev block 3 on the left side and then under actions click on the plus icon and then hit and show and then instead of the icon on beside the word display we need to click on the eye icon with the diagonal line on it so when we preview that when we click on the icon here it will show and then when we uh, second or we click on the second time it will hit, hide the paragraph so the next thing that you can do here now that you have created your accordion you can actually click on accordion cover and then what you can do here is that you can browse on the right side panel under the paintbrush icon on the bar very bottom part is that you can actually change the cursor into a pointer so that when you will hover your mouse into the accordion that we created it will change into a pointer automatically which means or which will signal your user that this part of the glossary is clickable so we go back to our um, webflow workspace and then click on accordion and what you can do is actually just click on control d and it will automatically duplicate the accordion that we created so once you have duplicated that you can just edit the text and then you can use that for your um, own usage depending on what you'd like to incorporate here into your accordion that you created and that's basically it. That's how you will be able to create an accordion here on Webflow. And that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Bye.